Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all that's well, cause I'm gonna dwell on everything. I know we might be facing some battles and some struggles, but he is on the throne, amen? amen. And he's coming back for his church. And I want to be the one to shout it and to proclaim it. Amen. I don't want to be quiet about this thing, but I want to declare it to a lost and a dying world that my God is alive. Amen. And He is able to save and to deliver you. Praise the Lord. But you got to put your trust in Him. Amen. You've got to put your faith and believe that He is able to do that. Hallelujah. What He's called and He's able to do if we put our faith and our trust in the Lord. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to the book of 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Praise the Lord. I just want to say thank you to all the ladies that they're ready right away to, to when I call and ask them to, to make something or to do the things that we need to do. That's what we're to be. We're to be the church for those that are going through hard times and facing things. So I want to say thank you to all the ladies that prepared something for the meal today, taking the time and, and your money and effort. I appreciate it. Amen. And I know the Lord will bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm going to read starting at verse 16. And it says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for this time that we've gathered in your house. And Lord, now it's time to hear the word of the Lord. And Lord, I just pray our hearts would be open to receive your word. And I pray, Lord, that you would give me the words and the anointing that only comes from you, Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that it would find good ground and that our ears would be open and receptive to, to your word. And, Lord God, that we would let, Lord, the word do that great and mighty thing, Lord, that you want to do in our lives. You want to transform us, Lord, and you want to do great things for us. Lord, I just pray, be in this service and be in these next few moments, I pray. And I ask it in the name of Jesus. And everyone said... Amen. Amen. Now, it says here in the scriptures, it says, For which cause we faint not. I want to encourage you this morning not to give up and not to let your faith be diminished, but I want you to put your trust in the God of your salvation. I want you to lean wholeheartedly on Him and not turn to the lies and the voices of all those that are around you and surrounding you and the devil that comes against us and tries to defeat us, but I want you to hold on to the Lord. Amen? Amen. I truly have, uh, I have to say, you know, some people say, well, the, the pastor's powerful and great and nothing goes wrong in their lives. Well, that's just not so. Uh, we all face hard times. We all go through things. And I can truly Amen. say, I, just since from one Sunday to the next, I have really felt a warfare. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when you try to walk this thing out and you try to do the work of the Lord, there's going to be someone trying to get on your back to try to bring you down. And that is the devil. That is the enemy of your soul. He is always out to steal, kill, and destroy. 
body. But I'm so thankful that even though in this body sometimes we may feel weak, we've got to know even in our weakness, He is making us strong. Yeah. He is giving us the power that we need. I know that I don't take one step without my Lord. And the day that you think you can do it on your own, you're going to find yourself in a bad place. Because I'm here to tell you, you need God in your life. And you need the power of the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. 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 Boy, you guys are quiet this morning. <laughs> Let the Lord move in your life. Let God come in and touch you. Let His Spirit resonate upon you. This is God's house. This is Sunday. We're going to receive the blessing of the Lord. We're going to receive His Word. And we're going to let it perform good things in our lives. Amen? God is faithful even in our times, as this Scripture says. Yes, uh, you know, I just told mom the other day, and you know, I feel in some places when we face things in our lives, I, I just in my body all week, I, I really didn't have any symptoms to go along with it. I don't know if it's because everything's blooming, and I started thinking, well, is it am my allergies making me feel so tired and weak, and I just, I just didn't have strength, and how many know you need strength for the day? You need His touch. And I, I was calling out on the Lord, but I truly believe it was an attack of the enemy. It was the devil. And I, I just thank God that He's always faithful to give us strength and to give us His power and to give us His peace when we need it. Because I'm here to tell you, you're going to need the touch of God on your life. Every day, every hour, every minute, we need the Spirit of the Lord. And I, I was just, I had in mind what I was going to speak, but when I opened up the Scriptures, I fell on, on this, this, and I knew that it was God. I knew that God wanted to, me to encourage you and let you know, do not faint. We're not going to faint. Why? Because we're putting our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Our power and our strength comes from the Lord. I don't want to give up on this thing even at times. The devil comes at you and tries to say, well, you can miss this Sunday. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to spend time reading the Word of God. You don't need to find time praying and seeking the Lord. I want you to know, tell that old devil he's a liar and tell him to get behind you, devil. I don't want nothing to do with him. Amen. See, a lot of times... We, we allow the devil to come in. We've got to, we've got to have our armor up. We've got to have the word of the Lord. We've got to know that our strength is not in ourselves. And I was sharing with mom because I, 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 I see those that are suffering. See those, you know. We, we're in this body. I want you to know even though you might be young, and you might not have great hair showing yet. And you might have all the strength. Your body is going to pass away. This body is not going to live forever. The only thing that is going to live forever is your inward man. That inward man, your soul and your spirit, when your body decays and falls away, it's all going to be up to where is your inward man with God. You know, I, I thought, I said to Mom the other day, oh, you know, you, you think of getting, you know, I never thought of it when I was young, but the older you get, you think, Lord, I, you know, you see people struggling along, they got their their walker, you know, my dad came to church and he preached the gospel for for eight years with a walker. He preached well, almost nine, ten years. He came into this church. He never gave up one time. He come in and he preached the word of God. I want you to know that's someone that's had a touch from the living God. Amen. Because only the power of God, even though we see those that their body might be, you know, I, I just said that, oh, I don't want to, I don't I don't want to have to walk with a cane. I don't want to have to get along like that. But how many know we don't get to pick and choose how we leave this world? We don't get to pick and choose how we leave this world. The only thing that's going to matter is where and what shape is your inward man. 
man in. It's one thing with if your body is falling apart, but it's another thing if your soul is falling apart. I want you to get your mind on your soul, as this scripture says, when you are founded in Jesus Christ, though this body may fall, though this body may fail you, your inward man is being renewed day by day. Hallelujah. I want to be renewed. I want to find myself in the power of His Spirit. Proverbs 20, 27 says, The spirit man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the innermost parts of His being. Your inward man, your soul, I want you to know it's the most important thing to you. I remember, you know, and say, well, I'm, I'm, you know, people that put all their focus on working out. And, and um, you know, I, I always trying to find ways. Now, I wasn't wanting to do all that hardcore working out. If I go and walk, I felt like I was doing something, praise the Lord. But Dad would always say, uh, you know, exercise, because it says in the scriptures, says exercise profiteth little. But I want you to know what profiteth much when you find your inward man full of the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the regeneration and the washing uh, and the power of the Holy Spirit working inside of you and touching your life. I want you to focus instead on the outward man, but to focus on the inward man. Because that's what's going to matter when we stand before the Lord one day. You know, it talks about that it's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. See, we're going to have to give an account for our lives. And the only thing that is going to matter is where do you stand? Where is your soul standing with God? Is your soul broken down and hooked up to barely hooked up to oxygen and you're barely gasping for breath? Or do you find yourself under the blood of the Lamb filled with the power of His Spirit and you have vitality and you have life and you have power in your heart and soul today? I... I like the scripture, because you know, even in, we as you know, I want you to know there's there's people that serve the Lord. There's Christians, and then and there's also church people. There's also people that say they're Christians, but their life doesn't add up to what God has called us to. Even Jesus, what did He do? He looked at the Pharisees. These were people in His day that thought. They did everything right on the outside. They had everything good. They thought that everything on the outward was good, but he told them on the inside they were as dead men's bones. They were as whitewashed tombs. Boy, it's a terrible place when your soul is found dead. But when you come to Jesus Christ, He will resurrect you and He will give you life and He will give you power. Hallelujah. Don't lose faith in God. Don't give up and don't give in because there's a greater, hallelujah, awakening. There's a greater place than my God has in store for each and every one of His his children. Yes. Praise the Lord. But there's a warfare going on. Yes, it talks about a, this light affliction. He didn't say it was a heavy affliction. Why? Because it can't compare to, you know, I've, I've heard people say, well, you know, you, you witness to them about heaven and hell. When you get on, oh, I'm in hell already. This is hell right now. I'm living it. They have no clue what they're talking about. They have no inkling. And I think a lot of times they just say that so that you'll change the subject and you, you won't bring it up because a lot of times that's where people are when they're away from God. They don't, they don't even want to go there. They want to try to forget about it. They don't want to put the focus on it. But that's why when we come into the house of the Lord and we hear His Word, it's going to bring it to our attention. That we need God and anything down here, all oh, the suffering. And I know there can be great things. There can be great sufferings that we face. But I want you to know it will not compare to the glory and the power that He has awaiting for us. 
And I want you to know the deepest and darkest sin and temptation that you face can't compare to when you receive your crown. And when you receive that, that, that notification from the Lord, come in, hallelujah, the blessed of the Lord, come in and rejoice in the fellowship of my Savior and my Lord into His presence forever and forever. See, it's one thing when, you know, God, you know, a lot of times we look at people and we'll, we'll how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. But, you know, I just did it the other day and I didn't realize. But deep down, I, I really wasn't feeling that great. I said I was good. I was good in my spirit. Amen. Thank God for that. But when it comes to my physical body, I wasn't feeling the greatest. But thank God, God knows where we're at today. You can look and you can take the shiniest car. I always think of, of uh, Andy Griffith. You know, I know it's old, but it's a good show. It's only about the only good thing on, on TV anymore anyway. I don't know why you'd want to watch any of those new sitcoms anyway. They're just, I just cannot believe the things that are on television. But I remember the one where Barney goes and gets his new car. And that thing looked Wonderful! It was shiny. It came from an old lady, but what he didn't realize when they got in it, the inward part of that car was so messed up and it left him on the side of the road. I don't want you to be left without God. I don't want you to find yourself without God. No, I want your inward man to be renewed day by day because I want you to know it's nothing that I have done. Nothing in my Righteousness. There is nothing, as it says in the Scriptures, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing and the regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. I want you to know I can't get through this thing without the Holy Spirit. And when I want you to know you need His touch and you need His Spirit each and every day of your life. But you've got to make that commitment. You've got to say, Lord, I, I don't want anything to rob me from the blessing. Hallelujah. Because a lot of times we're looking on the things that are seen when God is saying, take your eyes off the things that we can see and put your things that on the things that you cannot see because they're the things that are going to go on forever and forever. This world is just a temporary place. I want you to know this world is going to come to a close. This, this thing is not going to go on forever. Your life isn't going to go on forever. What does it say in Psalms 39? Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, and my age is nothing before thee. God, we can see that in this world that we live in because of the fall of man, because of sin that has come in, Something can take a young person's life. It, you know, it doesn't, death doesn't look at age. I was just saying about that young man, 21 years old, with three different kinds of cancer. We've got to know what's, what did it say in James? It says, what is our life? It is a vapor. It's here one day, then it's gone. And the only thing that's going to matter is when you stand before God. God isn't going to be looking at your outward. He's going to be looking at your inward. He's going to be looking at your soul. He's going to say, hey, my blood has been applied to His life. I, he is covered in the blood that I shed on the cross. Or He's going to turn and He's going to say, His inward man is not right. His inward man is falling apart. No, you want to be found under the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 1 Peter 1.18 The value of our soul says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish
blemish and without spot. His blood will cover you today. He will take your inward man and then He will start doing a work and each and every day there will be a renewing. There will be power and there will be strength and there will be victory in your life. Hallelujah. When you put your trust in the Lord and put your faith in Him and knowing that even though this outer man it's going to decay. It's going to get old. I know there's all kinds of... How many seen the commercial? You put the, the cream under your eye and it takes the bags away. They're looking for all kinds of things, but they can't stop it. They can't... We can't stop it. The only thing that is going to matter is if you have your inward man right with the Lord. Yes. And when you go through this life, and you go through the things that come your way, you're going to have faith. You're going to have power. You're going to have strength. You're going to be renewed day by day by His Spirit and by the Word of the living God. Can you say amen today? Amen. Let's stand. Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should.